See what's going on guys? Hey y'all, I got the first place winner of our live giveaway. And guess who it is? It's Spirit the end. <laughs> and she's a fisher lady, fisher woman. I think she might be, you know, have an official channel coming up soon. Who never knows, right? <laughs> right? You never know, you never know. So so we're here to, you know, give her uh, her prize since she was first place and shout out Real Affliction, shout out Jeremy Carswell, second, third place. Uh, you'll see the video in a minute too. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, show her what you got. Alright, so first prize, she got the pin pursuit four. That's uh and look, we really have we really have some brandy line in there for it. This is a uh, 30 pound, uh, as y'all can tell, it's a 30 pound, 230. So she's got about 200 something in here. Uh, this rod right here is an offshore angler brawler uh, trophy. Uh, as you can tell, it's rated for up to about, it's a 10, fo 10 foot rod, up to about four ounces, but it's up to 30 pound of, of, uh, of line. So that's why we got 30 pound in here, medium heavy. Action is moderate, and uh, so we're going to show you a couple things. So, um, so w whenever you cast, you know, before you cast, tighten your drag clockwise, and then cast it. And then once it, w once the spider weight is set, then you want to loosen your drag. Keep loosening it until it's like about right there. Until it's about right there. So that way. It doesn't break your line when the fish pulls you. That's why we always got to loosen the drag. After once you once you casted it already, <laughs> we're having some technical difficulties. Right <laughs> but I'm always having technical difficulties. So uh, <laughs> it's real so, life. So yeah. So so now you know. You know. What, what, once you cast it and you sit and you sit your spider away, um, make sure the drag's just loose enough that it'll pull. And your whole rod won't go out in the water. So does it like feel like a certain way? When yeah, pull it. That's what where it's got to be set. And whenever the fish pulls, and the, and the rod's moving, then you want to tighten your drag just a little bit to make it just a little tight, right? So that way, you know, you give them a little play, but not too much where it breaks your line. Give them a little play, but uh, it won't be so easy because it's not so loose. It'll be kind of hard to him to pull. So that way, if he, if he runs, he'll still move. It won't be so tight, and it'll break. It won't break. Okay. So that's why you want to. That's how you probably set the drag. Okay. Additionally, we got her whole brand new reel uh, of a tight line, 30 pound mono, so she could always add stuff. Uh, we also have uh, some spider weights and some third coast fishing at tackle.com. Uh, leaders, so get your leaders from thirdcoastfishingattacker.com from Jeff, my buddy Jeff. Okay, now we're going to show you how to tie a leader to this right here. Okay, so this is the this is the knot that I always use, guys. Can you see it good? Yeah. Okay. So you put it through in there, Probably about that much, about four or five inches. Okay, this is my knot, and everybody has different knots. And then you're gonna loop it six times. I call this the RVOT knot. I just made that up, but this is what I always use. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, right? Yeah. And then you pull it, and then, and you bring that down. See that right there, guys? You, you pull, pull that down. Okay, that's that's one. Next, you bring it in the loop. This is my knot, okay? Everybody has their own knots. You bring it in the loop, you put it through the hole, okay? And then do it three more times. One, two, three, or six, but I do I always do three after that. Bring it in tight, pull it, pull it in tight again. And look, this is how you always check it. You wrap it around your arm or your hand and just pull. It ain't going nowhere, guys. That's the RBLT knot. I just made that up. <laughs> but I've been using that knot, but that's, I just made up the name. Okay, so that's how you tie it. That's secure. And, and, and it, it, it's, it's super secure. Fish is not going anywhere. I'll not break. As long as your drag is, is, is uh, 
set properly and then so we'll just always keep some uh, scissors small scissors or clippers are good clippers are really good actually look it'll, it'll clip all that off see look and this is this is your uh, standard uh, third coast fishing and tackle.com leader it's got a nice big hook it's got a place for your spider weight and a place for your line now this is how you put a spider weight on okay so now let's say that your line's already tight and uh, you could do a pliers or your hand but I would say probably about this much down the way with like that one two three and me I like to do one like this like that and then you put it on here put on your spider weight make sure it's secure and then let's say it's already tied up once you put your bait your cut bait on your your squid, your uh, mullet, fish head, whatever. What I like to do, some people like some people like to put it in, in this hole, but I, I don't like to put it in that hole because I've casted it before and when reeling and checking and bait, it's still in there. So, you know, what I like to do is I keep one of these like, like that. And then once you got the bait on, you'll hang the bait on here so when you cast it, this will fly off this when the water easily. And then you let the everything sink to the, the ground. Once it's on the ground, then you kind of pull it a little bit left and right, your pole, until this digs into the to the to the to the sand. So that way you know it's stuck. Then once that's set, then you check you loosen your drag and then uh, pull the line, make sure it's loose, and then sit your rod down. I can always come back to this video. <laughs> <laughs> and as promised, we have our safety cleats, perfect for the jetty rock so she doesn't slip. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, and don't forget uh, you know, to, to check out some of my 100 yard cast videos. It took me three videos and a lot of research to figure out the proper form. Uh, and, and Around the second time I went to the soccer field, I was using all my strength. You know, I, I couldn't get it out there, but I made some adjustments on the reel and uh, also my form. So this is the proper way to cast, where you're not using all your body, you're just twisting your hips and using all of your all, all of your uh, strength from your arms. Down force like that. It's, a, you know, it's a down like that. So I'm gonna show you the proper way to cast. Let's say, you, let's say you got this ready, go like that, you know, like, like baseball, you know, baseball or golfs, you know, so go like this, your arm, you're twisting, and are you left handed or right handed? Right. So perfect, so right handed, you're going to see me. Strength comes from from your arms and your twist. It comes from here and here, and it'll, and it'll go a lot farther. So, good luck to y'all. Congratulations to Annie. <laughs> good luck to all her. Hopefully, she catches some nice super tanks, some beasts on this one right here. And we see y'all on the next video. <laughs> yeah, bro, this yeah. second place winner, bro. Real affliction, add real affliction, bro. On YouTube, bro. You gotta catch, you gotta catch this fishing channel, subscribe, bro. Subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe. The real affliction. Look what he won. He was just, he was just in the in, in the giveaway and the live, bro. Oh, you about to go off show with that one? You about to go off show with that one? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Hey, I'll be going off short too, bro. I know. Damn. And look at the Kenway, guys. See this right here? 
it, came, it came with the cleats, so whenever we go to the gym, you got the cleats, bro. Anymore, huh? You got the cleats now, bro. I'm busting my, I mean, I'm busting my butt a few times, bro. Oh, you ain't busting. Hey, guess what I saw? Guess what I saw at that jetty today? Oh, uh, I saw. Uh, what's the name? Um, Charlie. Ooh, what's up? What's up, y'all? Hey, y'all, y'all just saw me in the live. I got the same shirt on, and uh, my buddy Jeremy just won the hat, and uh, Thrifty Annie, she won. Uh, she wanted to surf ride, so we'll be meeting with her eventually to deliver her uh, uh, first prize. So, hey, y'all. Thanks so much for subscribing. We appreciate y'all. Got a nice winch. Got and, a winch. And then whenever you see him go offshore next time, you're going to see him pull a big fish on this one. Big old fish on this one. We'll catch a big one. Amberjack with this Amberjack, one. bro. AJ. Day. Ooh, man. Already, bro. Up. Hey, I appreciate you, bro. Let me be on the track.